Hello everyone. Um, I've been doing more videos lately. Uh, there's been a lot going on in the past few weeks and it's getting so much, it's getting to be so much that I don't even want to type it out. It's just so much easier to just tell you on a video. Um, it started with feeling my twin flame in my head um, and it started to, the momentum started picking up right then to where I was seeing something new and fresh every single day and I could feel my vibration rising, I could feel myself getting lighter, I could feel more um, insight flowing in much more easily than it ever has before. So the latest thing, um, if you saw my video on my twins, near and false twin, um, this video is not a follow-up really, but um, the, the events that have unfolded are subsequent to um, that particular incident that occurred the night that I did that video. So... Um, recently, I have been sending my twin telepathic messages. They're not anything significant, just um, just something that I wanted to, to test the connection and see. Um, I know that he's sensing it and hearing it, but I wanted to see if he would actually respond to it. So... I don't think he's receiving my messages. I think his false twin is. I can't really elaborate on what has indicated this to me, but um, it's true. Now, whether she's aware of this or not, I can't really be sure. All I know for sure is that higher self is orchestrating um, all of this to help me understand more about the connection. Now, I argue with teachers all the time when they say, it's all about you, it's all about you. It frustrates me to no end because I always say, if it was just all about me, why would I need my twin flame in my life? Why wouldn't I be able to just do this journey alone? And the same goes for other people in my soul family. Um, so, I mean, I've kind of known the answer to that one answer, which is we need these people in our life to reflect back to us what it is that we're supposed to see or learn or understand. So I've really learned this in a big way today because um, by what's been going on, I'm seeing more about how the workings of the connection um, play out. It's teaching me more about myself and my own ability or my own gift to actually play a participating role in everything and the journey and the way all of the uh, the details unfold, whether whether they be minor or major. So after realizing that my twin flame's false twin was intercepting my telepathic messages, um, I began to contemplate what was the next step that would be unfolding. Now that's not to say that I wanted to uh, control anything. I'm just saying that I wanted to um, have a heads up on it. So I did a little research and I talked to a couple of trusted Twin Flame friends. And in doing so, I actually came up with the answer on my own. And that was um, instead of involving her and the energetic um, equation 
that all I need to do is just send him love. So, um, at, shortly after I discovered this, I was watching a video and the person um, who did the video said the same thing. So, this has been a major, major realization for me. And I couldn't be more pleased with what I've learned about my experience with my false twin. It helped me realize a lot about that connection and and looking back on that connection helped me understand better my twin's connection with his false twin. So I'm sure this is probably getting a little confusing or complex or convoluted. So I won't go into any more detail or um, elaborate at this point in time. But I just wanted to get this little tidbit of information out there because I believe it can be very helpful for um, a number of you authentic twins who are dealing with this um, in your life right now. When I say this, I mean your authentic twin being involved with a false twin or a near twin or both. In my case, I'm dealing with both because as I told you in my video about the near twin, or excuse me, about my twins near and false twin, they, um, they both are involved with him right now on a communicative level. Um, I know the near twin is not involved on any level more than that. I'm not sure about the false twin. All I know is what I know about her place in his life and in his spiritual journey. So that's about all I have to say about that. If you have any questions or comments or feedback, or if you want to share your own experience with a near and false twin, whether it be yours or your twins, um, please feel free to share that in the group if you're a member of the group or um, with me privately if you prefer not to share openly. So thanks a lot for following along on this most extraordinary journey, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Good night.